about when the McCray lady said, okay, let's not talk about the past. Lady, it's not the past if we still live in it. Like, that's crazy. That's like me going through all my physical issues. My body is cr just like chronic inflammation, just pain that I never could imagine in my life. I would rather get pregnant and have a baby and go through the whole thing with whatever going through this. Because I don't know, like, how can it be relieved and all of that. And then somebody tell me, just forget about it. it. It never happened. Like, you know, that's in your past. No, it happened. I dealt with the, the anguish, the pain all the time. So it happened. Don't tell me it didn't happen. Okay? Don't tell me it didn't happen. We still live in Lincoln Park Apartments. So how are you going to make it look as if we're not going through what we're going through when we're still here? Like, I could not understand... I can understand it because when you don't give a fuck about nobody and you just, I'm just following the orders from my boss, you know, you don't really give a shit. That's why, like I told uh, 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 this one person, uh, uh, well, I can say her name, Elena. I said when she was over here to do our inspection, she said, I'm good people, Miss Fontenot. I try to look after my people. And I told her, I said, don't keep telling people you good people. You don't have to tell people, people, people will match hearts, match energy. So you don't have to say that to people. I'm good people. I'm good people. You don't have to say that. You know, don't don't keep saying it because that's like a man telling you, I'm the man. I'm your man. I'm the man. It's like, are you? Are you sure? You know. So you don't have to tell people that you're good people. I don't never tell nobody I'm a good people. You you when the right people that's supposed to be in my life and my daughter's life will be there. If you not, that's why the Most High Son removed you. That's why you was removed. Okay. So what I want to start with is. I want to, you guys know I'll be studying my Cards of Destiny book all the time. So I want to, I want to, uh, eventually I'm going to get my situation to where I can do the phone down like this, some kind of way and be able to see what I'm seeing. So I had a phone down list so y'all can see the cards and I'll be able to see what y'all supposed to be seeing. Eventually that's, that's the goal. So I can flow and do what I do. Because I don't want to be taking pictures no more of my cards and stuff. Whatever you saw throughout the psychic intuitive counseling session is what you saw. And uh, yeah. Because that's like been a lot of added storage on my phone. And then half the time I don't even be remembering to put them in the videos. Because of the way I be doing it is uh, taking segments of the entire hour or however long it was. And, and you know because I look at it as like shorts. Like, that's my version of shorts. Okay? Yeah. So, let me go ahead and get the book. It's right back here. So, I did this to alleviate a lot of stuff. On my bed. And it's working. Okay? So, I got the regular playing cards. And whatever comes out, we're going to read what it says here in the cards of my destiny. Because this is about me. Now, however, the Most High Son, my sphere team guides me, and you can relate. That's what it's all about. Y'all do know, and I've said it a million times, that this channel is a personal channel. It's personal. And this is how I was guided to come out of my shell, stop being so shy, stop being so hypercritical of myself. So me showing my alopecia, my bald spots. Y'all know this, this lupus or whatever this inflammation issue I'm having is now starting to shed my hair all over again. You can tell it's really shedding. That was the whole purpose of doing this side thing to see, okay, well, maybe because I was still in my fear of being bald. Not fear, but just like not fear it's not fear i'm past that it's more so like my vanity of losing my head but the beauty of my hair um and wearing it natural okay so that's what that was all about and the next thing you fucking know it started shedding way more right here again so i was like oh my gosh so i was like okay well let me try to just you know try to you know do this like this and that like that and you know see what we do so I'm still working with it, you know what I'm saying? But you can see, yeah. Now, my mother also did that female pattern baldness stuff 
as well but it's actually shedding it's actually shedding more towards what is this the crown right so that's how I know that it's something going on as far as like you know this inflammation is taking out my hair plus every time I comb my hair with the wide tooth um, comb is all inside of the comb so that means it's falling out so yeah and it's starting to feel real wiry so that's why you know I did the blonde one more time just to see but when I, I guess when I'm in a highly inflamed state it's going to affect my entire body in whichever way that it chooses to affect me so that's that on that so if ever I'm really just all the way ball 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 I might start doing hair wraps I might actually get into wigs Ew, I don't want to do that I like my natural hair anyway so let's get on into it what you need baby